when we were recruiting Beth, we almost missed out on the opportunity to uh, sign her at Nebraska Kearney because in our records, recruiting records, we had her listed as a junior. So we weren't aggressive recruiting her early on and if it weren't for John Mannerneck, he kept on us about this young lady in Lamar's, Iowa that we needed to, to recruit because she was a phenomenal shooter and uh, we ended up signing uh, Beth late uh, in her senior year and I always uh, have John Mannerneck to thank for that. Beth uh, spent most of her freshman year uh, sidelined with an ankle injury. Finally, in about mid-January, she started to recover. We were able to get her some minutes. And then uh, her freshman year during the conference tournament, we lost a key player uh, to a knee injury. And Beth was really thrown in into that particular semifinal game and went on to flourish in that game and in the championship of the RMAC tournament. Uh, which we went on to win and go to the NCAA tournament and Beth was instrumental in helping us do that just simply her ability to shoot the three. Uh, I think during her career uh, she shot almost 47 percent from the three-point line uh, which really entails I mean it's a four-year number but really because she didn't play much her freshman year that's a three-year number uh, and one of those three years she shot almost 50 percent from the three-point line and uh, I remember just uh, how well and how strong she was and the type of range that she could shoot from. I mean, she could easily shoot two and three feet behind the three-point arc, uh, which obviously made it very difficult to guard uh, Beth. But just how proficient, how fundamental, and how accurate she was shooting the three ball was always really, really impressive. And it got to the point that her junior and senior year, we almost, we wanted her to take more bad shots because she was shooting such a high percentage and we wanted her to take more shots, but Beth was so unselfish that she always did what was, was best for our team. I think the other thing, cool thing about coaching Beth was what a great person she was. And you know, it's, it's great when you have a superstar um, and they're an amazing person. They're easy to be around and Beth was also a really great uh, teammate. And so to be able to coach a young woman like that um, is really a dream to come true for a coach. I mean, a two-time uh, all-conference player, a player of the year in the RMAC. Um, she was also an academic All-American. Um, and so I think her accolades speak volumes. Uh, she won four championships in four years and NCAA tournaments. And she was a key reason why those uh, great things happened for our team. Um, but in the bigger picture, when I think of Hall of Fame members, I also think of tremendous people, uh, young women who graduate from college with honors. Uh, Beth really encompasses the total package, and for me, I think that's what the Hall of Fame is all about. I'm so proud to be able to say that you're one of my former players, and I'm so proud to have been your coach. I'm also very honored, I'm very grateful, because we all know great players make great coaches, and uh, you sure made me look a lot better than I really was uh, during those UNK uh, days. So uh, congratulations, you're extremely deserving of this, and I couldn't be more proud to uh, call you a friend, a colleague, and a former player.